10 a.m. Saturday morning and I am on my way to the butchers to get some meat for tomorrow's cook. The reason why I'm going back to the butchers is because I messed up on Wednesday and we have unusable footage which I don't really want to post up. So yeah, we're right now on our way. A peace. Look at this meat butter. Cannot wait to put this on the barbecue. This is gonna be so bloody delicious. Our beef bone marrow. For all the bone marrow, you add about a quarter of a cup of salt, pour it in, and then you make sure that we put enough water that it submerges all of the bone, and we'll leave it overnight so you can remove all the blood within the marrow. The bone marrow has been soaking overnight to remove as many impurities as possible, and I will be seasoning them with some of these spices that I just whipped up so we can get it ready for the roast. To prep our meat, first we want to make sure that the meat is room temperature and we want to remove as much moisture as we can from the surface. Just have it dry like that. Wow, look at the marbling on this. She's a bloody beauty. Mm, sexy. Now that it's dry, we're going to put on the rub that I prepared earlier, making sure that it's nice and coated all around. Once seasoned, we let it sit for an hour so that the meat sweats and that the meat can absorb all the flavors from the seasoning. While we let it sit and rest, let's go prepare the barbecue. For today's grill session, we'll be using the reverse searing method. What that means is we're going to set up the barbecue two zones. One hot zone and one cool zone, just like this. Now that the barbecue is up to temp, we are ready to cook this tomahawk using the indirect method. Get it? Away from the cold. When cooking this steak, we want it to hit around 115 degrees Fahrenheit first, and then after it hits that temp, we let it rest, then we sear it. So, just before the steak hits internal temperature 115 degrees Fahrenheit, we want to set up the bone marrow like this. That way, the bone marrow doesn't ooze out. And we put it in the barbecue, let it sit in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until the bone marrow is nice and soft. With all the meat that I eat, I've got to make sure I keep a balanced diet. I do that by drinking kale juice every day and I'll show you now how I do it. Firstly, ginger, one apple, some blueberries, and kale. Cheers. Now that the tomahawk steak is up to temp, we're gonna take it out and let it rest on this piece of foil. Wrap it up. While we're letting it rest, we're gonna crank up the barbecue and make sure it's scorching hot. That way we can sear it, do the final sear, and give it a nice crust. All right, let's get going. Oh, that's what you wanna hear. Done, it's been rested, and I am super, super hungry. Let's have a look and see how it went. That is so good. No wonder why they call it the meat butter. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look how good this looks. So excited, let's give it a crack. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> So good. 
melts like butter in your mouth. So soft, so tender, so juicy. Mm. Alright guys, I'm gonna enjoy my meal now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And also leave in the comments below what you would like me to cook on our next video. Thank you.